What is going on all you minties? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition and join me today as I take an advanced look at Batman the Creature of the Night hardcover from DC Comics. So please stay tuned. Now, the very first thing I want to do is thank the folks at DC for sending us an advanced copy of this book. This particular hardcover comes out on March 25th, or at least that's the date we were given. Hopefully, it will still come out. This is Batman, Creature of the Night. It is written by Kurt Busiek and drawn by John Paul Leon. Now, you may have heard these names before. Let's look. We'll do a quick size comparison here really quick. After removing the dust jacket, it is a standard size hardcover, meaning that it's a little smaller than your oversized hardcovers. The paper size is practically the same size as a trade paperback. Here's what the book looks like without the dust jacket. And the back here. Now, let's talk about the creators and what this book is. So we finally have the hardcover of Creature of the Night. Written by Kurt Busiek and John Paul Leon doing everything but the letter, Todd Klein doing the letters. So this is a DC book, even though it's not canon, it's still labeled as a DC book, not part of the Elseworld or the Black Label line. But it is the story of this little boy, this little nine-year-old named Bruce Wainwright, who is obsessed with Batman. And he lives in a world where superheroes don't exist. He has an uncle who goes by the name of Alfred. There's all these connections between him and the character of Bruce Wayne in the comic books and Batman. And one evening, his parents are being robbed. They walk in on the robbery and they get killed. They get shot, much like Bruce Wayne's parents, but he himself gets shot. After that evening, things are never the same. He becomes an orphan. His uncle tries to take care of him. He ships him off to a boarding school. And needless to say, of course, there's some supernatural elements. Because remember, this is a world without superheroes. It's almost like he's able to summon this creature here that he'll call Batman, of course. And he can see the world through its eyes. And I, and I say creature because he's not a man, or is he? Um, and he's going around taking care of all these muggers and just criminals on the streets. But he's still not satisfied. Bruce still wants to find the murderer of his parents. So together with Officer Gordon Hoover, that's right, Officer Gordon, uh, he teams up with him trying to figure out who murdered his parents. And he's not able to control this bat creature, but he's able to see the world through its eyes. So he can see what it's seeing. And I will leave it at that. I don't want to give away what happens. I don't want to tell exactly who the Batman is, whether it's his imagination or whether he is Batman or whether someone else is Batman. I just have to say that most of the time when I do these overviews, I try to read one or two issues to kind of get a better understanding of what these books are, unless I've already read it. This is a book that I couldn't put down in the very, very same way that Kurt Busiek gave us Superman Secret Identity with Stuart Eminem, where this character named Clark Kent lives in a world without superheroes and he gains Superman's abilities. That is the same way that this is written. And I love it because it's got a really good mystery and you watch Bruce Wayne grow and the creature grow along with him throughout the ages. And eventually there's a Robin, not going to spoil as to who that is or what role Robin plays in his life. And I think I've kind of given up sometimes on these when I say it's not a review of the book. Yeah, sometimes I can't help myself. But let's talk about these names because that's what I was getting to at the beginning. This is Kurt Busiek, the guy that gave us Astro City, the guy that gave us Marvels, the guy that gave us Superman Secret Identity, my favorite Avengers run. This is the guy that wrote it. If I were to name five people that have a complete understanding of the history of Marvel and DC, he would be one of those five. He completely understands all these characters and their personalities. And this is John Paul Leon. He's the one that did the further adventures of Cyclops and Phoenix. And along with Jim Kruger and Alex Ross, he's the one that created the Earth X universe, which we have two Omnis of. He's uh, drawn Detective Comics and Mother Panic, but this is just his artwork. He has a very dark style, but here, let me show you. So you see his style, he uses a lot of shadows, unless we're looking at these pop comics, right? Like this is when Bruce is reading comic books, the characters themselves have less shadows and more brightness on their faces. Uh, the paper quality 
is this thick glossy paper so that's really nice uh, the book by the way retails for $29.99 and has 216 pages so the problem with this book and I think a lot of people forgot about it, is that issue one came out over two years ago and then they finally wrapped it up last year so there was like a two year span between issue one and four the final issue so maybe some people gave up on it maybe some people forgot even it was even a series that was going on but it is finally here and it's finally collected in one collection that I think reads awesome from cover to cover now let's look in the back here for extras to the right we have the actual pitch and music actually explaining why it took so long between issues here are cover character studies and sketches and an afterword by Kurt Busiek written in 2019 for the final issue. And some more sketches here and the progress of the art. Now, let's take a look at this binding. I'm sure you could probably tell as I was flipping the pages that it is glued binding. So there's no flex on the inner spine. All the pages are bunched together and glued down here. So that's why when you saw me turning, Towards the very beginning, it has a hard time staying open. Mainly because you don't have that flex and the pages don't fold as nicely as they do like an oversized hardcover or a book that has sewn binding. As far as the gutter loss, there's a little bit of some, of course, because we're dealing with glued binding. But luckily, there's not that many splash pages. And literally, I just read this today, so I can remember. There's not that many splash pages that it affects because most of the panels are laid out like this in your traditional comic book style. And after reading this, I want to see more of this world. I want to see Kurt Busiek tackle Green Lantern, tackle Aquaman, tackle Wonder Woman just like this in this world where superheroes don't exist. And if you're interested in purchasing this book, again, it comes out on March 25th. Hopefully, if everything goes according to schedule and there are no more delays, you can pick it up from CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for brand new graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off the cover price. Cheap Graphic Novels prides itself on packaging your books so they arrive safely and in excellent condition, as well as prompt and helpful service. And check out their bargain bin for even greater deals up to 90% off cover price. And for you mentees, Cheap Graphic Novels is renting a special promotion. If you're a first-time customer, let them know you were referred by Near Mint Condition at the checkout, and you'll receive a credit for free shipping on your next order. Now, this is only for U.S. customers. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discounts, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. Now, that was the content of the book, the build of the book, and the page count. Please let me know in those comments down below if you've already read this, if you started reading it a couple of years ago and it finally ended and you forgot that it was even a miniseries, or if you've never read it and you're a big fan of Superman Secret Identity, yeah, this is the book for you. Again, please don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button if you have not subscribed. Ring that bell for notifications to let you know when our videos are going live. We have a video coming out every day. Please don't forget to check out our Redbubble and Patreon. Those are great ways to support the channel and all of that information is in the description down below. And more importantly, everyone, please stay safe and healthy out there.